Hey. Hello, Marcus. We are here for our coffee. Okay. It's some part of the R&D uh, department. Yes, it's a part of R&D department where we have all of our machines. Yes. Yeah. Ah, I see already the difference. <laughs> ah, some, uh, what's that? Some flow the, device. The flow control device. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, the PID. Ah, control. nice. Now uh, we uh, we will do an, uh, a cappuccino with uh, the naked filter holder. Okay, let's see how does it work. The uh, is very chenic and the foam with this system is very consistent, especially if you start to do a little bit of pre infusion and with uh, the flow control, because the flow control allow you to. Um, uh, uh, let's say regulate the flow from zero to nine bar. Okay. Okay. Now yeah. we play with this item. That's why the extra manometer is put here in order to see the pressure in the uh, exactly. flow unit. The, here we uh, put an extra manometer on the hole we have on the group, and we have the uh, accurate uh, pressure uh, of the group. Okay. So when yeah. we regulate with this pedal the flow of the water, here we have the result in terms of the pressure change mm. in, inside the group. Okay, Luca, you also plan to offer this as a separate accessory? Yes, uh, we will put it, um, uh, let's say, standard on the Aria PAD and we will have also a kit that can be installable on all our machines. Nice. And this one here is now connected to the main water, right? Yes, this machine, as I told you before, yeah. one of the features of the PID version is the double connection uh, possibility, and this machine nice. is connected to the main water supply. Nice. You will hear the motor pump noise is completely different from a, uh, let's say, uh, ah. vibration pump. So we see now here. Ah, yeah. Now, okay, now it's uh, blocked. Closed, yeah. It's closed. And when we open? We open the flow of water. Okay, now we have no coffee, so we don't see the effect on the manometer. Yeah, but we see the effect on the you outflow. You see the, the effect on the flow. Here, oh. more. And close, yeah. Okay. The PID, as you can see, have a shot timer, so it tells you how many seconds uh, mm -hmm. you, it takes uh, to brew your coffee. Yeah. So if you want to check the, uh, let's say, the traditional formula of uh, 30 milliliters of, in 30 seconds, in this way it's really easy okay. to check the extraction time of your espresso coffee. Uh, and when this dot here is uh, blinking, it means machine is heating or...? Yes, the dot means that the heating element is on. Yeah. Uh, the heating element, in case you use a PID, have a, a very, um, uh, let's say, it's activated a lot of time yeah. for a small period to keep a stable temperature. Okay, so okay. The better uh, thermostability is given by the accurate work of the uh, heating element that uh, take the uh, power from yeah. the, um, the PID control. Okay, nice. So let's start. Let's make a good cappuccino. We are using now a double uh, coffee basket of 20 grams and we extract with the naked filter on. Very nice. So should be a big crema, right? Should be a big crema, yes. Um, Luca, yeah, now I'm really interested how many grams we have inside. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Well, what you use normally, it's, uh, uh, you use 18 or 19 or uh, 20? We usually 20. 20. Now it's 18. So we can add two more grams, maybe, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, and a very important feature of the yeah. with your machine, 
it comes this uh, metal uh, tamper okay that uh, uh, let's say give more value to the pertinence of the machine oh very nice and, uh, from it's completely different from the traditional mm. plastic tamper we used to put yes yes in our machine <laughs> okay 19.4 is okay i think the tolerance yeah. so now comes now yeah. we start with the closed completely closed tap we can wait a few seconds open slowly and now slowly at the manometer should appear something now slowly the manometer yeah show you the pressure ah. huh? we have regulated 10 bar nice bumper. nice crema looks really nice now we can reduce it and control the wow during the brew yeah what i like that it's really uh, exact very exact and easy so you don't have any blockage here uh. exactly uh, the turn twice yeah is not uh, like the one that have 180 mm. degree but giving uh, more turn the, re the regulation is much yeah. more accurate yeah okay so the cream is like a Guinness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, very much crema. You can uh, see it, of course, better with another uh, glass cup. Uh, but here inside is a uh, really lot of crema. Yes. Wow. So, Luca, now comes uh, uh, shall I foam the milk or? Please. Oh, mamma mia. That's always a, a little bit complicated. But first of all, I release a little bit of steam. And now? Be because the condensed water shall get out and my hand is now the thermometer which tries to uh, uh, get a little bit impression about the temperature because when it's getting too hot then uh, you cannot foam anymore so afterwards we clean that's important because sometimes even uh, yeah some parts uh, get into it so uh, i hope the foam is uh, acceptable and yeah in the first step i insert a little bit so i have now a little bit bigger uh, volume not the best uh, but but uh, <laughs> something something and uh, yeah it's, uh, it's a leaf. yeah yeah it's a leaf it's a leaf with the wind that is yes the yes wind. it's a surfing yeah. Uh, leaf yeah cool. yeah like this <laughs> super wow Grazie. i really like this version for me now it's complete I think uh, putting all these features in such a compact machine, mm -hmm. uh, it was a challenge, but uh, finally we, we find the, the, the right uh, yeah. components to be mm. fitted in it. Yeah, and it's super nice. It has uh, enough steam power. Of course, when you steam, uh, then the pressure goes down, but this is uh, yeah, but uh, normal. It now rises it's up. It's already 1.1. Yeah. And uh, so it, it have a good steam power. Yeah. The inflation of the boiler improve uh, the uh, steaming capacity and the uh, stability. Yeah. And uh, so we think it's a, it's an improvement compared to our uh, old model technique. Yes. And all this improvement will drive all our uh, new project. So mm. uh, we will. Nice, nice. 
So uh, the cappuccino test is passed, uh, very good, except my latte art. It's perfect. <laughs> and now we make an espresso. Nice. I'll show you the um, foam volume in a um, glass cup. Ah, okay? so we see, yeah, nice. The effect of this uh, device uh, and of this kind of brewing. Okay, it means a uh, espresso or? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look more like a Guinness than a yeah. Nice. Cup. And what I really found that it's quite, or experienced, that it's quite important to uh, weight the uh, amount of coffee. Of course, it's if you uh, wait the amount of coffee, your extraction can be under-extracted or over-extracted just because you put too much or not enough coffee in yeah, 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 yeah. filter. So it's the most important thing is to grind the uh, coffee quantity according to the capacity of your filter. Yeah. Most of the filter, like all our filters, have marked on it the amount of uh, um, coffee that you have to put inside. And, I uh, can show it to yeah. you after this coffee. So here nothing comes out because, because the valve is closed. closed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's I think quite. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Now, it's not easy. Shall I open? Right, go. Yeah. Go, 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 okay. Okay, now you start to regulate the flow, okay? Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, the Guinness Presso is manifesting. <laughs> Super nice. Oh, yeah. And now you will see that it drought like really drought like a beer, like a beer, like a Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> of course, in the morning this is much better. It kick you out of your house. <laughs> really? <laughs> Especially if you add some uh, chili. <laughs> chili press. <laughs> yeah, so then I it's getting uh, dangerous. Chili yeah, yeah. You try or I try? Please, let's okay, go. Okay, okay, wow. <laughs> that will be La Bomba, okay? Yeah. So when I jump through the roof. We go to dance tonight. <laughs> mm. Wow, boy, crema monster. Yeah. So it's a lot of Robusta or? Um, it's a Robusta based blend. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it uh, Buongiorno. Ah, because the, uh, yeah, this one here. As I told you, it mm -hmm. kicked you out of your uh, house in the morning. It's, it's pretty nice. Uh, let's say strong uh, blend. Okay, so in case you typical drank typical Italian blend, typical match with the Italian taste. Mm -hmm. So in case you drank too much uh, prosecco the night before. Uh, after the to help to wake you up. Super. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I also like the new uh, packaging yes. and the design. Now, uh, we took this uh, um, historical design that is the original design of the snake logo that we use uh, in our company. And uh, is also my great grandfather have used it with this, uh, um, let's say, this design. And we are taking it. Uh, back again and yeah. we put it on Aria, we put on Victoria our uh, specialty coffee machine and now we will start to renew all of our model and as soon as they are renewed we will put the new logo. So, so we, re we renew all our lane just okay. slowly, slowly and uh, this will be the new logo. Nice. So I, I like this old style, uh, vintage style. Yes. And it's also uh, thanks to the ancestries. Yeah, of course. Without them, uh, no espresso. No espresso. Wow, <laughs> imagine, huh? <laughs> wow. So, grazie mille, Luca. It's a nice machine for me. Uh, wonderful. Thank you. Cool, Marcos. cool, super. Yeah, hey, yeah, wow, ciao. ciao. ciao.